Alright gamers, I'm Danny and I welcome you back to the channel. This time around I'm going to be taking a look at my very small, but pretty good, Atari 2600 collection. Let's crack on. So, I recently decided I say recently, in the last few months I've decided to start collecting for my first ever home console and that is the Atari 2600. So far I only have 9 games in the collection but I do believe I've got some of the big hitters so let's take a look at them. First up is a racing game on the Atari 2600, it was sent to me by my good friend Sam and that is Pole Position. This is one of my favourite racing games, probably not of all time obviously, games nowadays, especially racing games are much better. but. For the 2600 this is an absolutely brilliant game. It's one that I wanted to add to the collection as soon as I decided to start collecting for the 2600 and thank you Sam for sending it and adding it to the pile. So the next one, I know this isn't a very good port of this game and this game might be responsible for the video game crash in North America in 1983, but that's Pac-Man. I'm not the biggest fan of Pac-Man if I'm honest. I'm not very good at it. I don't really get how to get good at it. My missus is pretty good at it, but I'm horrendous. The Atari 2600 part was a very poor one. It doesn't play well, it doesn't look good, but for what you had on the Atari, it's it's the best version of Pac-Man available as far as I'm aware. And it is, it's a lot more fun to play than you might expect. And yes, Sam, I admit that it's kind of fun. So the next one is a 2D shooter, which is one of my favourite genres of video games and that is Galaxian. I'm a big fan of this game, it's one of the games I had when I was younger and I spent a lot of time playing it. Really glad to have this in my collection and it will be getting a lot of game time over the coming years let's say. The next one is the quintessential Atari game and it's one of the greatest games on the system but it's also very basic but it's also very 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 good. It's combat. When you think of Atari and the sound effects and you think of the explosions, this is probably the game where the explosions originally came from. Combat, you take control of a tank or a plane I believe, it's been a long time since I've played this one. And yeah, it's just, it's, it could be a two player game and you just have to blow each other up. It's very basic but it's such a fun game to play, especially if you have another guy sat next to you on the sofa or go. The next one is a game I've never actually played and I'm still currently waiting for a new power pack for my Atari so I haven't had a chance to play it yet but that's Yars Revenge. I know it's a game that's quite sought after on the Atari and it's a game that most people who collect for the Atari will own so I was very happy to add it to the collection. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what sort of game it is, I've never played it, I've never watched anyone else play it so... I'm going into this one a bit blind. I am looking forward to playing it and maybe when I do play it I'll be able to do a more in-depth review of the game. But so far, not played it, but I am looking forward to it and that is Yars Revenge. Next one is a very popular game on the Atari. It was a conversion of an arcade game just like Pac-Man, but I think this one was done a bit better and that is Missile Command. This is a very, very popular game. It plays very well on the Atari. I haven't played it recently, but I did have it when I was a kid and I remember enjoying playing it a lot. I played it a lot with one of my friends and we used to try and beat each other's score. He had a Polaroid camera at the time and we used to take pictures of each other's scores and try and beat it. It was a lot of fun and it's a memory that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And that's Missile Command on the Atari 2600. Next one is a game that I never really got into as a kid. Um, I played different versions as I grow older and I do prefer it a bit more now. I'm looking forward to playing it on the 2600 when I do finally receive my power cord and that is Centipede. Like I said I never really got into it as a kid, it wasn't a game that I was overly interested in, it wasn't a game that really gripped me when I played it. I could see why people liked it but it just wasn't for me but like I say I've played different versions of it as I've grown up and I am really looking forward to firing this one up when I eventually can. So yeah, that's Centipede on the 2600. Now the next one is a fantastic title. I've never actually played it on the Atari. I've played it on other systems that are escaping my memory right now, but that is Zaxxon. I may have played this 
I feel like I've played it on the Commodore or the Amiga or something along those lines. I don't fully remember. Never played it on the Atari. Obviously haven't had a chance yet because I'm still waiting for the power plug. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to firing it up. Like I say, when I was a kid, I was a massive Atari 2600 fan. It was my first home console, so it's going to be really interesting playing games that I've never played on it before. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to firing it up. Uh, like I say, it's, it's, it's going to be new to me, and that's Zaxxon on, on the 2600. They're all on the 2600. I don't know why I keep saying that. So the last one is, I believe, the first home console video game I ever played. This was the game that got me addicted to playing video games. It was the game that introduced me to the world of video games. I did own a Commodore 64 beforehand, but that's more of a, a microcomputer, so it wasn't really a home console. I also owned a Game Boy, which was great, like the portable, handheld portable gaming was my thing before I even ever owned a home console. But this was the first game I ever played on my 2600 when I got it when I was very, very, very young. Nice skateboarding. It was recently covered by Cad Icarus on his skateboarding video games video and he ripped it to shreds. Which is understandable, it's the Atari 2600, but I have lots of memories, fond memories of this game. And when I watched his video, all those memories came flooding back and I really cannot wait to fire this one up because I don't hold any more nostalgia for any other video game than this. Like I say, it was the first one I ever played and I cannot wait to fire it up and give it a go. A skateboarding on the Atari 2600, which I don't need to keep saying, but you know. So overall, I do believe that the few games that I have so far are some of the big hitters on the Atari. I know there's hundreds of other games. I'm not just gonna buy any game for the console. I want to buy games that I actually want to collect and want to play. So I don't know how many more I will add to the collection, but yeah, I think I've started off pretty well. If there's any games that you would recommend me to get on the 2600, I would appreciate mentioning it down in the comments and I'll do my best to check it out. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, keep on gaming. Pew, 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 pew. pew.